Welcome back to another History Skills video. Today I'm going to explain the difference between two source analysis skills used in the history classroom. One of the most common mistakes made by students when analysing sources is to confuse perspective and bias. While the two analysis skills are related, they are very different. This video will, hopefully, make the distinction between the two clear so that you will never again confuse the two. Firstly, let's look at perspective. Perspective is the point of view from which someone sees an event. Everyone has a specific perspective on the events they describe. As a result, two different sources can talk about two different things or describe the same things in different ways. What is important to remember is that just because two sources produce different versions of an event does not mean that one is necessarily more right or wrong than the other. They just saw things from a different point of view. For example, a parent and a child could visit a museum together. After the visit, someone might ask them what kinds of things were in the museum. The parent might describe the great paintings by famous artists while the child might talk about the various toys in the museum's souvenir shop. Even though the two answers are different, neither of them is wrong. They simply experienced the same event differently because they had two different perspectives. One had the perspective of a parent and the other had the perspective of a child. Here are some common kinds of perspectives in historical sources. Nationality like American or Japanese. Profession like university professor, soldier or something similar. Political persuasion, conservative, communist, etc. Cultural background, perhaps Egyptian, European or something like that. Gender, male, female and so forth. Religious beliefs like Christian or Muslim or educational background, so a particular university or business that they work for. Now let's look at bias. Bias by comparison is an intentional use of language to present a clearly one-sided and often unfair description of the event or person. This is most frequently seen in the kinds of adjectives or nouns a source uses to describe events. When identifying bias, it is crucial that you're able to point to specific words from the source to prove that they're either strongly in favour of or strongly against the person or event they're describing. For example, in the description of an ancient battle between the Romans and the Greeks, a Roman author could describe the Greeks as villains or pathetic cowards. The use of those negative word choices shows a deliberate attempt by the writer to present a clearly one-sided description of the events. The author is clearly demonstrating an anti-Greek bias. Similarly, the same author could describe the Romans as heroes or unfailingly brave. The use of positive descriptions shows a clearly pro-Roman bias. So how are perspective and bias related? As you can now clearly see, perspective and bias are two different things. Perspective is the point of view from which a source sees things, but bias is an intentional use of language to present a one-sided description of something. However, the two are somewhat related. Once you identify the perspective of a source, you may naturally expect that they demonstrate a particular kind of bias. In the example about the battle between the Romans and the Greeks from before, once you know that the creator of a source has a Roman perspective, you can start to guess that they may show some bias about a battle involving their countrymen. However, until you can identify specific word choices in the source that demonstrate bias, you cannot automatically jump to the conclusion that the source is biased. What you'll often find is that even though you have determined the perspective of a source, it doesn't show any clear bias for you to find. I hope that you are now feeling comfortable about the difference between perspective and bias in historical sources. If you'd like to explore each skill in more detail, I have provided links below to two other videos I've made, one on perspective and the other on bias. Also, if you need further explanations, examples and advice, you can visit the historyskills.com website. I'll see you next time.